Let me tell y'all something. The minute that I expect less of a person, like my expectations for the average person is little to none. The minute I started thinking that way, my life became better. Because I don't expect the average person to have values and, uh, excuse me, principles and morals like I do. I just don't. And the crazy thing about it is, you all, ex your expectations are too high for the average person or for people, period. Even when it boils down to me, y'all expect for me to get on YouTube every day, give you videos, um, shut up, not complain, watch CNN, uh, uh, be the spiritual guru, the spiritual leader, uh, read books all day, and never go out, never drink, never have time, have fun with the ladies. I mean, yo, sis, your expectations for me are too high, and I'm telling you, off the rip, I will intentionally let you down. You know how some people let other people down and it's not it's not a, it's not conscious it's not a conscious thing that they consciously didn't let, let you down they unconsciously did they didn't they might have not meant to do it but they did i'm telling you that i will intentionally let you down your expectations for people are too high and this is where your feelings get hurt this is where you 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 say to them yo you let me down And it makes no sense. I'm trying to put you on a game. Your expectations for people are too high. You expect, I'm not saying all white people are racist. That's not what I'm saying. I know there are white people out there that are not. And they want everyone to be treated fair and equal. But there's a, a bad bunch of white people, white racist people, that makes it bad for the other white people that are not that way. But... In this case, you expect for all white people to be racist, excuse me, to not be racist. You expect for all white people to love and care for you. And I'm telling you, the first order of, of business is self-preservation. This is the reason why until, yeah, like, as of recently, white cops have been getting off of murdering black people. Because white people stick to their own. Your expectations are too high for people. Period. I've know I've learned this throughout all my life. Throughout all my life, I you know I'm like yo you know this person gonna do me right you know because I did for this person. It might have been in this, a situation where you know um I let the, th this particular person borrow my car for a week because they ain't have a ride to work. So I say, hey, you know what? You can have my car for a week. The only thing you got to do is just put gas in it. Now my car's broke down. And I turn around and say, hey, can you return the favor? And they say, nah, I ain't doing that. And here I am, messed up. Because I, I thought that just because I did something right to, by him or her, that they were going to do the same in return. Your expectations are too high. Too damn high. You look up to your celebrities. You look, up, you look up to your LeBron James, your Jay-Z's, your Beyonce's. And you expect for them to come through for you when it comes to police brutality. Now, true indeed, people such as Beyonce and Jay-Z um, and LeBron have. But don't expect for them to continue doing it. Don't expect for them to do more than what they're doing right now. Your expectations are too high. And what's so funny is the things that you expect out of you don't even do it your damn self. You have high expectations for people, but you don't have high expectations for yourself, which makes no sense to me. You want me to be this great man, but you are not. Which makes no sense to me. You know what I hear in the comment section? 
all the time yo you should have said this this way and you know you shouldn't have did this this way and blah 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 everybody critiquing me which i have no problem with but at the same time when i go to your channel and i see you have zero videos i don't understand that if i'm not doing a good job if you feel as though that you could do a better job than I I can on particular topics that I talk about, guess what? Start making YouTube videos. Start making YouTube videos. If you can do a better job than me. It makes sense to me. But you won't. And that's the problem. That's the problem right there. Stop having, having high expectations for people. Stop it. Stop it. You, you look forward to, to, to this election coming up where you have, of, of course, it's going to be Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. And as as usual, black people are going to vote, <coughs> excuse me, Democrat for Joe Biden and saying that this is the solution. That we're going to get Donald Trump up out of here and all of this racism and all of this stuff is just going to blow away. No. You think Joe Biden is not as worse, uh, not worse than Donald Trump? You think he going to do right by the black people? No, it's all talk. That's all it is. That's all it is. All talk. No action. I don't want to hear a politician talking about what they're going to do. I want to see it. Because seeing is knowing. Seeing is not believing. Seeing is knowing. Other than that, you ain't got my vote. I got to pick between the lesser of two evils. That don't make sense. I'm just not voting at all. I don't care what anybody say. It doesn't make sense. But as usual, black people are going to vote Democrat Joe Biden and Joe Biden's Gonna talk that talk and not walk that walk once he become president. He got your vote. Now it's you kiss my ass, black, black community. I got what I wanted from you. Your expectations are too high. Especially you black folks. You looking for a savior, and it's a shame and a disgrace that you look for a savior, and the, and the savior has to be in the image and likeness of a white person. Your God is white, depicted white. Your, your savior, Jesus Christ, the son of God is depicted white. The angels are depicted white. You would never phantom a black man coming to save you. You would never phantom that you can save yourself. Which makes no sense. Put those expectations down for people and you'll live a better life straight up the minute I did that man I'm telling you my life has been beautiful ever since you know what I'm saying I mean I remember I used to you know like uh, my, my friends and family like yo why y'all ain't call me why you don't keep in touch and this and that and so forth and I used to just like just like it just used to bother me so much like yo man I, I got love for you you know I care about you I just want to know you know if you all right and blah 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 I just want to talk to you and this and that and so forth and it's like my expectations were too high just too high now I don't care if you call me or not doesn't make a difference to me I don't care if I don't talk to you for a month or two or three or four or five or ye five, six years. Doesn't make a difference to me. My expectations for people are just little to none. And I live a decent life now, being that I don't expect for anyone to do right by me. <laughs> that plain and simple. I hope that I helped you out. I hope. That you do the same. You have the same mentality that I have. Don't expect for people to be like you. Loving, caring, and have morals and principles. Uh uh uh. Kick, throw, that, throw that out the window. Expect less. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. One.